Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'll be taking a look and a mini review of the Wilson Trinity tennis ball. I say mini review because I tried them for about 15 minutes with a group of friends in a hitting session and we didn't even get past the warm up before we went back to conventional tennis balls. It's winter, we're paying for court time. We didn't want to ruin our match by forcing ourselves to go through a longer session with these balls because right off the bat they felt hard now this is Wilson's attempt to make a environmentally friendly product good on them I like everyone else wanna do my part to help the planet but at the risk of my arm and getting tennis elbow I am not going to risk it with these balls they may last longer, but they're heavy, and it's a hard, harsh feeling when it makes contact with the racket. In the warm-up, we weren't even starting to hit at 100%, and we were feeling it. Between four guys, we all agreed that they were harder. We opened up a fresh can. So, that's not the only thing. Um, here in the video, I'm showing you the little imperfections of a premium price tennis ball that shouldn't be there and you can clearly see these little lumps and rolls in the felt covering the ball it has the build quality of a cheap rejected uh, coaching ball these little bumps and rolls on the tennis ball has to have an effect on the bounce <laughs> they must give somewhat of an inconsistent um, bounce on the court however minor but it just looks bad when you're paying much more money for a premium tennis ball you want it to at least look like a premium tennis ball now the box may be made out of cardboard and it's biodegradable even though you're sacrificing a tree but that's neither here nor there um, I say buy yourself your favorite uh, pressurized tennis balls and if you care about the packaging being biodegradable just take a scissor cut the metal ring off the container put the bulk of the plastic into your plastic bin to get recycled take your metal ring container throw it in the trash let's go into the landfill or try to throw it in the can section but don't risk your arm, don't pay too much for a, a ball that sounds funny and doesn't feel good and could risk injuring yourself. It's not worth it. You're not going to be solely responsible for destroying the environment. If we're going that way, we're going to go that way anyway. You're not going to save the world by paying more for a tennis ball. So, nice try. If they could do a little bit better, I'll take a look. Until then, thanks for watching, give me a like and subscribe, and see you later.